how has Takeshi changed? Now, season one, he lost his sister. He's gone through some pretty He's big black. emotional trauma. He's black now. Yeah. Does that, very does, angry. does that still matter now? In no, the in the future? No, 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 no. Because <laughs> pretty much everybody looks like Tiger Woods anyway. Like. <laughs> Anthony uh, absolutely was uh, aware of Joel's performance and wanted to honor it and wanted to uh, be inspired by it, but at the same time he wanted room to embody that character and make it his own. It's interesting because he's, you know, different. His, his level of uh, intrigue, the way he's written, his, his, uh, his passion, his desires, his, um, you know, in the first season he was very, um, I feel, downtrodden. Takeshi Kovac in season one was a uh, Kovac who had nothing left to lose. And Kalkris Falconer, a woman he lost centuries ago, uh, you know, he had no chance of finding. And then there's a promise made to the audience at the end of season one, which is uh, she may be out there. So in season two, Takeshi Kovac is closer to her than he's ever been. And that's a really different Kovac because that's a Kovac who has something to care about. Rapid healing, enhanced reaction time, among other bells and whistles. Oh my. This is a military grade sleeve with specific bells and whistles, as we said. And we did choose, and we love the, we call them the mag plates that you see in the teaser where he can call weapons that are biometrically coded to his sleeve, uh, to his hands, which was super fun. Um, and but there's other 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 secrets to the sleeve.